Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. So there's a masculine who, uh, honestly, the feeling I'm getting here is they can't stop watching you, okay? With the nourishment, <laughs> you're like their only bright spot of the day, okay? And I feel like this person is watching everything that you're doing. Um, put Anything you're putting out on social media, they're seeing it, and they find you so extremely beautiful. Um, this is what they want to say, okay? Um, yeah, they've been watching you take good care of yourself. Um, they're, they're just... I'm seeing a lot of them watching you. Yeah, they want you to trust them again, okay? They, they're they like on the outside looking in. It's almost like I'm hearing living your living their life vicariously through you, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, and you're walking in the steps, in the footsteps of like the divine, okay? You're, um, you're out, I feel like this is you back here, okay? Um, very empathic, very psychic, very intuitive. Uh, you could even have your own platform out here that they're watching. Okay, you're you're very tapped in. You could be a medium. You could have uh, your own channel or something, and you're you're um, in mediumship right now. Yeah, I'm really getting the sense that you're very tapped in and connected here. Um, very much at peace. So this is all that they're observing about you, okay? Everything that they're um, thinking about you. Uh, they find you extremely beautiful. You could have changed your hair color recently. They've noticed that. Um, they're noticing like everything. But the, the one thing for sure that they don't like is the fact that... Um, yeah, see, I feel like this is your person feel feeling very... Yep feeling very um, burdened. They want to get back in. Look at them howling at the moon. Um, yeah, I'm hearing that Bruno Mars song, Talking to the Moon. So that could be significant. But um, yeah, they're on the outside looking in. And you don't seem to be bothered. Okay, you're completely unbothered by this, but they're very bothered by this. Um, all they can think about is this connection. Yep. Wanting to change this here. They want a new beginning with you, but you're in the process of releasing this this connection, realizing, you know, you're kind of going it alone. They were supposed to show up at your side and they didn't. And you're realizing too, you know, you're the key. You're the key to your own happiness and success collective. You don't need this person anymore. So I'm feeling like an empress energy off of this high priestess energy. And you're out here releasing this connection and focused on new beginnings. A lot of focus with you. You're not at all focused uh, on this person anymore. And you're, you're just over it. They see that. And this is a huge burden for this person. They want to come back in. I feel like they're energetically calling to you here. But yet, yeah, see, here you are in a, in a lot of power. This is the most powerful person in this deck. High priestess energy, big time. I feel like, um, yeah, you've taken your power back and you're going it alone. This is you entering a new portal. You, you may still be thinking about your person from time to time, wishing they were standing here at your side, okay? There's a big absence here for you. But you've been patient long enough, and now your back is turned. Um, yeah, you're turning your back on this person. You're realizing that you're the key. And this is, this is plunging them into dark night of the soul, okay? They're watching your growth and, and um, whatever it is that you're building, whatever it is that you've been working on, you've built a solid foundation for yourself. I'm seeing internet here with the world. Um, and your roots are just wrapped around the world here. And you're holding this clock like um, time is ticking, you know. But I feel like, yeah, you're not, you're not being patient with this anymore. You're moving on. Then this person, as you grow and continue to grow, they're, they're being plunged into dark night of the soul. Yeah, this person's, I, I've got fear on the bottom of the deck. They're afraid. 
howling at the moon wanting to come back into your energy here but you're um yeah you're not you're not dealing with it anymore <laughs> that's really the feeling that i'm getting here and all of this is um yeah, look, it's it's this is the power of attraction too. I feel like this person they're trying to manifest you back in, you know, using the laws of attraction, okay? You can look that up too. Um really trying to focus on your energy, but here you are just focusing on yourself with a pure heart, pure intentions. You're not thinking bad for anyone. You're not wishing anything bad to happen to anybody. You know, good intentions, but putting all that focus into you. They find you so beautiful. Look at how, look at this. They find you so beautiful here. I, I feel like this person is just kind of in awe of you right now. You know, and everything that you've been putting your effort into is growing. And you're, uh, you're about to see your wishes fulfilled here with fruition. Yeah, because you're accepting your journey, you're accepting the lessons, you're accepting that you're needing to walk away from this person and you're trusting in the divine. This is like co-creation here. Releasing and trusting, okay? And this masculine is like upset. Um howling at the moon because they can't get back in look at on the bottom of the deck we've got the nine of swords here they're in a lot of anxiety feeling a lot of pressure having nightmares unable to sleep they don't want to let you go all right what can you show me about this masculine clarify hunger um, they're howling at the moon here. This is what I'm clarifying. <laughs> All right, clarify hunger. What does this masculine want? What does this masculine want? Yeah, look, once again, they're like, I want it all right now, but I can't have it. See, because they're out in the cold. Yeah, they, and they know, look, they want to take some kind of action towards you here. This person is um, losing a lot of sleep. Uh, if, they're, if they're sleeping at all, they're having nightmares. Look at this, man. Nine of swords, ten of swords. Oh, they're feeling this pain because they wa they're watching you out here. Uh, but yeah. Possibly even um, starting something new and very passionate uh, with somebody else. Um, but I just see this as you having this new beginning in your life, celebrating things, becoming abundant. Um, they're seeing you out here once again, very beautiful. We've got a mention of your beauty three times now, okay? Um, the number three could also be very significant for you. You could be... Um, any sign here, we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got you out here as a Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it could be any sign. Um, and you're just, uh, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten, and you're single out here. Having a great time. You, this, you could be celebrating some kind of... Um, milestone or accomplishment or maybe even a birthday or something like that um they may have seen you outside just you know walking with confidence and and light and brilliance right i mean you're very enthusiastic here you feel really good and it, none of like it's almost like you're over this person and you're really focused on whatever it is that you're building whatever goals you have for the future, and this person is an absolute wreck, okay? They are. They want to talk to you, but, um, yeah, you may not be talking to them, though. There's that high priestess energy, so they don't really know what to do. Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, they don't know how to reach you, and you're very tapped in. This person may feel kind of afraid of you. I'm picking up on a fear. Yeah, you see this person as a liar, 
that she, you know, and you're not going to allow that anymore. It's like, it's like you're, you're not having anything to say to this person because if you think if their lips are moving, it's a lie. <laughs> okay. And this person sees you as wish fulfillment. And I feel like you just want to live a life of peace and happiness. You know, you don't want to talk to any or deal with anybody who's going to come towards you with any kind of lies or betrayal, in and out energy. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, you're, uh, you're building your own Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles here, and your own um, Ten of Cups. This could also be somebody who's already in a commitment, or maybe uh, this could be a family member even. Yeah, they want to apologize to you. They want to talk. They want to talk. They want to take some kind of action here towards a star. Possible light worker here. They're extremely burdened by this, yeah, because they see you as their soulmate connection, and this person knows what they want. They want their soulmate back. They want you, and they don't want anyone else to be with you. They know that you're, look at, once again, beautiful. Now it's mentioned four times in this reading. They know that um, you're beautiful, you're on a glow up, you're very independent, you're abundant, uh, successful, high vibing, happy, celebrating, right? None of the, like you're over this and they're falling apart. And here you are putting yourself out there. They're very burdened. They don't want anyone else near you. Okay. Um, this is where I'm feeling a possessiveness off of this person. Like they're the only ones who can touch you, right? That's it. They don't want anyone else near you here. And they know that um, that every like a lot of especially masculines are gonna really want somebody this beautiful and successful and happy. Oh yeah, they're about to have competition. This person doesn't want the competition. They don't want to fight for you. You know, I mean, they don't want to fight off anyone else. Um, but here's the the problem is is they continue to just stand here with their back turned and act like they don't care and they're realizing here with no water in this lake bed that they've done that for far too long. Okay, you may not feel the same way about them anymore. And now you're inviting um, new suitors to come in because you're ready for love here. You're ready for love. Um, at the 10th pentacle, you have a commitment, something that's built to last, okay? Um, a soulmate at your side. You've got nine pentacles here already. The only pentacle you don't have stands for that soulmate connection. You're ready. You've, you've learned your lessons. You've passed your tests. You're ready for love now, knowing what it is that you want and what you don't want, okay? This journey taught you a lot. And, um, I mean, you are, you are the treasure for anybody out here. And this person knows it, man. They're on fire for you, basically. And they don't want anyone else near you. They're feeling jealous. They're feeling possessive. Um, they know that you're out here single and beautiful times four. <laughs> okay. They keep telling me that you're gorgeous. All right. Uh, yeah. But you're not speaking to them. You're just out here enjoying your life, as you should. You know, you should be enjoying your life. Yeah, this person's in love with you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. But in order to get this Nine of Cups, they've got to be able to come and make you this love offer and tell you how they feel about you. Um, otherwise, they can just sit here. Like, if they don't offer this cup, they're not going to get their Ten of Cups. They might as well just sit there and keep dreaming. They might as well just sit there and keep dreaming. If this person isn't going to take some kind of action and actually tell you how they feel about you and give you this apology, they might as well just sit there and keep dreaming. Okay? Yeah. You're about, I feel like you're about to be approached to by somebody else. I don't know why. I just wanted to kind of spit that out. So, yeah, I feel like they also know. Um, yeah, look. Yeah. If they don't give you this offer, 
right? If they don't tell you how they feel and give you an apology and make it right, then all this is is a dream, okay? All this is is a beautiful dream that won't happen. And they'll lose this opportunity and they'll have to walk away. Okay, so it's really down to the wire. Is this person going to gonna come in and, and fight off the competition for you and take some kind of action? Or are they just going to keep sitting here watching you from afar? Right? This is what's going on in this person's mind. <laughs> And it's, I'm telling you, it's very burdensome. We've got the 10, look, the 10 of swords, the 10 of wands. They may even feel like they've been betrayed somehow, um, possibly by you, but you've been focused on yourself. This takes a long time to create time, effort, focus. I mean, this card pretty much proves it that you haven't really had anything to do with this person. So they have a choice, and I, I feel like time is up, okay? That's kind of the feeling like I'm getting. They've waited too long. Yeah, time's up. Time's up. This person can't wait anymore. What's it going to be? Yeah. Man, they are, yeah, and you, they're very burdened. You're not, you're not dealing with this person. You're not going to come forward. I feel like you're... Um, you're in, I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to take the first step in communication, right? Because you're in two of swords energy right now. That's like cutting them out with a pair of scissors. Okay. Um, and th here's the thing uh, that brings me back to that saying, right? Right. When someone hands you the scissors to cut them out, you're going to do it. If they give you a good reason to leave them behind, you're going to do it. Okay, so that's what this person basically did just by standing around you and nothing coming towards you, right? They needed to take action. They watch you from afar. They stalk you. You know, they think about this, right? We get hermit energy on the bottom of the deck. So if they're not going to come towards you and give you a, a, like a proper apology and tell you how they feel about you, of course, they're handing you the scissors, and so you're using them, you know? Yep, hermit energy. And all they can think about is getting back together. But the divine is like, dude, you've stood here long enough. Then you've got to do something about it. So what is this person? Are they going to take action or not? Because this is what, I mean, this person, man, they are so in their head about this. This Hermit is in your head, right? So is the Nine of, of Swords. So is the Ten of Swords. That's all mental energy. So all they're doing really is watching you, stalking you, cyber-stalking you, right? And thinking about this heavy, but they're not taking any action. And the Divine's like, no, man, no. So what action is this person going to take? Towards this earth angel, they may want you to keep being patient with them, okay? But no, that the patience, the time of patience is over. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, maybe, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be any sign. I've got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here as well. What action is this person going to take? Because right now, it looks to me like they can't seem to get out of their head. You know, and they've got to be able to get out of their head and start moving on this. Yeah, they're feeling like a fool. Okay, so this person has been in a toxic situation with somebody else, giving, to, giving their love, time, energy to someone else. Okay. Um, and it's a toxic relationship. It could be some kind of codependency that keeps them there as well. Yeah, and they're feeling like a fool. Yeah, they're going to have to leave behind this toxic situation if they're going to come towards this Empress in the Minor Arcana. Because you're standing your ground. 
You know, you're not going to deal with anything less than what you deserve. And that is somebody who's going to be committed to you. Okay. Yeah, that's a confirmation. My phone's been blowing, like ringing off the hook. Um, yeah. Or otherwise, you're about to get somebody new here. I'm kind of feeling like this is you meeting somebody new. This person may even, uh, this person from your past, they may even come back in just to tell you, like, I don't know, share some passion with you or something, because you're very hard for this person to resist. Your beauty, your success, your high vibes, its your energy is very hard for this person to resist. But I feel like they are in something else, and maybe they're afraid to leave it. I feel like it's a, it's a codependent relationship. This person may have a lot of financial obligations wherever they are. And that situation's under judgment. And if this person from your past thinks that they can come back in, get you all wrapped up in your head, put you on hold, right? Um, they're, they're, they're sadly mistaken. Their every move, I feel, is being monitored. Okay. By the divine. Maybe even by the person that they're with, since I said it like that. Yeah, they could be in a full on commitment here. Howling at the moon. What did I say? Howling at the moon. You could be dealing with a cancer, or you could be a cancer. Yeah, here, because you're about to get a new beginning. You're about to get somebody new, maybe even a lot of abundance here. You're already, but I feel like this is your 10th pentacle coming in here. This new person um, could end up being uh, the one for you here. And this person's having, a, your past person is having a major tower moment. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe Scorpio, Cancer. Yeah, I feel like that. Sorry, you guys. I don't know where the camera ended, but um, we were on this. And I wanted to show you, too, this person's howling at the moon. We got the moon out here, the two dogs howling, this, this dog howling at the moon. They want you back. I'm kind of getting the sense that whatever toxic situation this person has been in, it's about to be obliterated by the divine, okay? Because the whole thing is under judgment. And this person, you know, now they're thinking about sneaking away, sneaking and coming back towards you. And the divine is like, no, man, no, you have to do this right. And I feel like this, this devil situation has to be brought down anyway. So I feel like that's what this tower is. Um, it's coming down, collective. Whatever... This person has been in, it's over. But you're about to meet somebody new. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm getting the sense that this is somebody new coming in. And your person, whoever this is from the past, they're getting this information here, yeah, and they're not happy about it. Ooh. Um, we've got the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the, on this pile. Um, that's, this is who this person is with, I feel. Um, they could be with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But they're getting news from somebody else that um, you've got somebody new coming in. They're working together here, talking to other people about you, and you've got somebody new coming in. And this, this masculine now is walking around angry, upset, not sleeping at night, okay, exhausted, what, doing nothing but watching you, feeling like a fool, okay, and they're angry, and this queen of swords that they're with wants to know what's going on, like she knows that this person is watching you, they both could be watching you, they both could be talking to other people about you, yeah, and this masculine does not want to let you go. Yeah, they're walking around heartbroken, crying, 
can't sleep, nightmares, they're moping around in hermit energy, they're not talking to this because they don't really want this Queen of Swords. They don't want to be with her. They want to be with you. And you're about to get you're about to get an offer from someone else. Right now, this masculine feels stuck. They're upset. They're angry. They're they're crying. They're a mess. And you're out here happy, living your life, doing your thing, getting somebody new, getting new love, new love offers, meeting somebody new here. Being abundant and beautiful. Oh, man, they made a big mistake, this masculine did. They do not want to let you go. Um, this could be also like they could be with them. Um, they could have children with this person, okay? But, man, they're heartbroken. And this, this karmic or whoever they're with in this toxic situation, they want the truth. They want to know what's going on. They just want the truth. And your person, I feel like they're kind of turning their back on everyone right now. Guys, I cannot get, the, like, they. I know they want to come forward with an apology, but if they come to you now, they're coming to you in Knight of Wands energy, okay? Which means they're not going to be able to stick around. They're going to get you all wrapped up in your head. They may even want to have some passion with you because you're gorgeous and they can't resist you. Um, but they're not going to be able to stay. And so this is why this person is under judgment. And the situation that they're in is under judgment. And they're about to get a major tower moment, huge karma here, um, for not doing the right thing and planning to come in and kind of, you know, play you. All right? They, they either have to, they have to leave one or the other. They're going to have to walk away from something here. It's either... This, this person that they don't want to be with anymore, or you. But they're, they're like right in the middle here, and all they're doing is watching from afar and holding back the truth, and they're not allowed to keep doing that. The universe, the divine, is not going to keep allowing this. They're, they're being watched very closely by the divine. Okay, we've got judgment out here. We've got the higher font out here. I feel like, meanwhile, collective, you're just doing your thing. You're focused on you and you're glowing. Keep doing that. Keep loving yourself, right? I'm hearing that song by, um, oh, I don't remember her name now. Um, it's a, it, She used to play Hannah Montana. I don't remember her name, but um, I can buy myself flowers. That's the song. I can buy myself flowers. I can take myself dancing. I can hold my own hand. I can I can love myself better than anybody, right? And I feel like that's the that's the energy that you're in, and that is attracting so many things to you. It's attracting the blessings. It's attracting the abundance. It's attracting your success. It's attracting a new person into your life. So keep staying in your north node, working on yourself, loving you. And leave this person's karma to the divine, okay?